Now, where I left off before, I'll just carry on with this area here, which really is pane of glass. That's the window, of course, in the part of the bay window. But I'll just stop there. There's some cushions inside, which are white. Just leave that like that. And uh, carry on this way. Now, since I'm working into this area here, I'm going to go back into some of this foliage and the bougainvillea and strengthen some of those colors. Uh, some of them intrude into the this area of background of the window pane. So now you can see how, at least the way I treat it, watercolor is kind of a back and forth thing. I'm not really working too much mm, what they would call a la prima. I am actually revisiting areas and deepening uh, shadows. And in this case, not only deepening shadows, but I want to make sure that I have the leaves blocked in a little bit here so I can avoid overpainting that area when I do the uh, background, the windows. Um, so in this way, the painting gets built up from various layers. And speaking of going back to things, I can go back to briefly to the detail of the stone patio by putting in some of the, the mortar I can describe the a little bit of the perspective. Again, there's no point in getting too detailed and it doesn't have to be done all at once of course you're just going back here pick up some of that if it's too much um, let's see I've just about got all the detail and color I need in this area of, uh, of the foliage here at least for now I can go back and proceed with what's in the background here now the resolution of the uh, Vito may not be very good right now because the sky is darkened and we've got a thunderstorm coming in a few minutes, I'm sure. So it's quite dark out, although it's the afternoon. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll block in some of the windows here. We'll leave some white here for the interior cushions that are in there. Now when I go back here and start doing the uh, background, it's okay if there's some wet areas and you get some, I got some wet into wet happening there, which can have the advantage of unifying the painting somewhat. Some foreground, more foreground elements united with and blurring into what's down there, what's in the background, I should say. Um, now, there are some uh, branches of the bougainvillea behind. Actually, there's quite a lot of detail back there of dark branches, so that'll be a question of partly of suggesting them. And here, of course, they are in the background. The leaves fall in front of them, so I'm just uh, painting in certain areas of those branches in the background. That'll be all continued more next time.